Today I'm going to be reviewing and doing a demonstration with this Kuyu Icon Pro uh, 3200 backpack. Bought it a few years back. I was a little hesitant paying that much money for a backpack, but I'm so glad I did. I absolutely love this backpack. I had a hard time assembling it and I had a hard time finding a good uh, video that shows you how to. So I'm just going to disassemble this backpack and reassemble it. So first thing I do is I start, I call those uh, the bottom straps, the bottom loops. I undo those and then I do the, uh, the side strap right there. And then I do the middle strap, that's a loop again. And then I do the other side strap. And then uh, you kind of fold it up and there's gonna be two straps underneath. You undo those. Then when you're done with those, I usually flip it over on its side. Go ahead and take the side straps off. There's the one and the other one I already had off. But you can imagine if it was there, right? Then I flip it over and repeat the process. Now that the bottom and the sides are taken care of, you go to the top and then those two shoulder straps right there you just clip that one off and go over and clip, clip the other one off the next thing I do is I take the frame out of the belt and how you do it it's kind of a pain but it's a good thing it's a pain there's velcro that goes over the harness or over excuse me over the frame and latches it in there so you just kind of have to reach down in there and uh, dig it out next thing you're going to do is it's kind of a pain too um, but you don't do this very often um, but you take the the bottom part of the shoulder strap and you undo it to the uh, from the belt and you repeat on both sides. I'll kind of speed it up for you. And obviously same thing to the other side. As soon as you get that off, kind of brush it off, there's going to be lots of dust in there. And then what I usually do is, I forgot that those things don't twist. You have to take the that Velcro off right there and then actually turn the shoulder to the side like that and it comes off. And there you have it. You can go ahead and wash your backpack and um, I usually don't wash my belt or anything like that, um, but I absolutely love this frame, this carbon fiber and this design, how, you know, you can bring it away from your back if you need to, you know, pack meat. Um, absolutely love it. I, I'm so glad I bought it. Now what I'm going to do is just put it back together, obviously repeat the process, um, but just backwards. Um, uh, you turn that thing sideways. And the good thing about when you're putting it back on is you can kind of see where you've had it for a long time. You'll see a little line there and just smash it on there and then do the same thing to the other side. Shove it down in the belt, take that Velcro, and then you're just gonna open up as much as you can and then just stuff it down in there. There's another, the other side of the Velcro that'll, that'll keep that frame from coming out of the belt. Probably the hardest part right there is, is getting that all the way in and with the Velcro on. But that being said, it's not too hard. And I'm going to put it on fast motion again. Everyone knows how to do these, but they're just kind of a pain. Just 
just get the, the bottom part of that shoulder strap attached to the belt. Another thing I wanted to point out is don't be afraid of all these straps and, and things hanging everywhere and you know don't get frustrated. You'll know if it works or not, if it, that's where it's supposed to go or not. Um, uh, and it's just, they come in handy. I mean, I, I rather have more straps and, and more uh, ways to balance your load than, than not having that. So I appreciate that by Kuyu. Once you got that squared away, you usually flip it over. Those straps I'm messing with right now, I usually just try to run those down right there out of the way. Those are if you're gonna use um, the extender to extend the pack away from the frame to put meat in there. It's very important to put the backpack in on top of the frame, those little sleeves, because if you start at the bottom, you won't be able to reach up and get those on. I don't do exactly what I did when I disassembled. I usually start with that one in the middle and then I do those ones behind the backpack and then I do the side straps. Once you get those two side straps, um, you usually want those pretty tight. That's what keeps the load to your back. Um, right now I'm going to collapse those little loop straps uh, down to the loops. Uh, that will make my backpack smallest just because it's summertime right now and um, all I'm doing is just water and very light. Um, but if you're going to backpack a little bit, you can extend those out. And then you go to the sides and you get the sides on. And as soon as I get those, I just kind of tighten everything up and uh, get it ready to go. I uh, absolutely love this backpack. There's not a whole lot I would uh, I could even criticize on it. Um, I love you know having water right there. Um, absolutely love this backpack. And you just go ahead and clip those top straps right there, and you're ready to go. So if you were going to use those extenders, you just unclip those and then those two pieces that are connected, you would undo those. You'd have to loosen up the bottom, take that loop thing off for it to come off. I don't want to do that right now, but basically you would just click that one to that one and that one to that one, and bring it out, pull to whatever you need in and cinch it down. In all honesty, this backpack is light enough for a day pack and it's it's equipped enough for three to four. If you're really, really rough and it maybe five days, if you're not going real far, uh, you can do a five day out of there. But it's mainly like a three to four day um, backpack. I hope you, you enjoyed the video. Uh, all the new backpacks pretty much go on the same and all the old ones are very similar. So I hope this helped you out in uh, assembling.
please like and subscribe. Thank you.